going on? We're gonna show you guys how to properly do the T-bar row to maximize results and minimize injuries. Smash that like button, let's dive into this. Start off, we're gonna show you guys three common mistakes we've observed, well 3.5, you'll see there's a little bonus in there, but these will really help you guys know if you are doing these, how to fix them, how to avoid making these errors in a sense. Okay guys, and common mistake number one within the T-bar row is far too many people do half reps. The range of motion is quite poor when doing this exercise. I think so many people think that if they load on six plates, they're gonna get more of the exercise, but I'm willing to bet you guys, if I do two to three plates with full range of motion and you do six plates with 116 of the rep, I'm gonna get way more out of the exercise. So guys, I cannot stress this enough. Make sure you pay attention to full range of motion and you get everything out of the exercise. Number two guys, is all about using your pelvis and and your back and your momentum to lift this weight. That's not how this exercise should be done. If you're thrusting in and out throughout it, you're just kind of lifting it and you're doing it like a deadlift or a lower hyper back extension, which is gonna be a big issue because that's gonna put a lot of pain on that lower back. That's how you get injured, guys, and avoid that. And another important thing with this, posture and stay tight. As you guys can see here, I'm posture, I'm staying tight. I'm performing this exercise properly as opposed to now, when you guys can see I'm bent over, I'm swinging through, looks like nonsense, and I'm not working the muscles I should be working. 2.5, guys, is don't stand with too wide of a stance. A, you'll look weird, and B, you're gonna bag yourself. You don't wanna be sacking yourself for doing this exercise. Trust me, there's nothing worse, so make sure your feet are at a good distance. You can see how I like to have my feet here. Number three is knowing the right grips to use and how to use it. We really recommend using the closed grip um, cable row attachment. I find it works best. Uh, there's some that come with optimal, like wide grip, kind of that kind of tuck in there. Not everyone has this luxury. So best to start with this. Some people like to switch hands. I don't like that because you always have to switch. If you're doing three sets, you're gonna kind of get an uneven working load. And then the other last key thing is knowing where to position this bar. I see too many people positioning the bar too low on the actual Olympic barbell. This is gonna cause you to lean forward, bend that back, and really strain that lower back yet again. But people will have it wedged up too forward with your body too upright. And one, like Kyle said earlier, that's really gonna decimate your range of motion. As you guys can see, I like to have the bar placed here. This is how I can feel it the best, and this looks the best, as you guys can see, while I'm doing my reps here. Hopefully you guys understand what not to do within this exercise. Now I'm gonna leave you with four tips to keep in mind every single time you do this. Number one, this is massive. Think to drive your elbows back. None of this swinging stuff where you're throwing your back backwards. Bring your elbows back at a nice squeeze and you will get a lot of this exercise. Number two, hinge at the hip. You're gonna be doing this by keeping a neutral spine and keeping the knees slightly flexed. Number three, this is a very obvious one where I think a lot of people miss out on. Spend more time where there is tension. This is the eccentric portion. This is the way down. You're gonna be experiencing the most fiber breakdown which is gonna to lead to you getting the best results and growing the most out of this exercise. Last but not least, number four, you're gonna to wanna to squeeze your core, stay nice and tight and uh, uh, yeah, those are the four tips that you guys should be utilizing every single time you do this. Variation number one, we're kicking it off with a single arm row. Guys, if you don't have access to a T-bar row, this is meant to give you an alternative to still get similar results and really grow those lats and give you that thick back. So with that being said, we're gonna move on to the barbell row. Josh is gonna give you a little bit of an explanation. Guys, we have a full video on this upcoming exercise, so make sure to check it out. Go underhand or overhand at about a shoulder width grip. From here, you're gonna get a little bit of bend and you're gonna get that back ready just like a deadlift. From here, you can lift, have the knees slightly bent, push yourself down. You can see that my bicep isn't fully extended, but it's extended to the point where it's still under control. The bicep is still holding it along with the back. So from here, row up, squeeze. In variation number three, we've got the seated row. Guys, even if you want to add this exercise into your routine along with the other rowing movements, it's perfectly fine. I do that fairly often. But this is just a fantastic exercise to really add that size and thickness to that back as long as you're doing it properly. So make sure to watch our form video on this exercise as well. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure to click the first link in the description below if you guys want your free form guide. Please smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.